Hi, this is Lexa Thompson with Red Carpet Report, and I'm here in Beverly Hills at the Paley Center for the season two finale of 12 Monkeys. Hi, my name is Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's a beautiful car. Oh, thank you so much. So, first of all, congratulations thank on another you. season. Thank you. What was your reaction when you found out today? It was a big sigh of relief. It was really exciting. I don't think anyone in the cast, I don't want to speak for anyone, but I have a pretty good feeling that no one was ready for the journey to be over. Nobody wanted to end it where it is, especially when you see the finale, you'll know what I'm saying. And we're all so happy to get to continue this, especially with these nuts. I look forward to working with these crazy maniacs every day. And Cassie has grown so much, so strong, and but also kind of in a, had a narrow view, you know, with everything going on, she's scared probably. oriented. How does she, do you think there will be more romance in season three? Are you hoping with Cole? I don't know whether there will be more romance. I don't know what the threats are going to be specifically, but I can tell you that Cassie's not the kind of girl that takes personal time when the world is falling apart. She always focuses on the good of humanity. So if it's between a dinner date and saving the world, she's always going to choose saving the world. Yes. And, you know, how does it feel working on a show that is, you know, empowered women so much? Is it just a wonderful, like, it's what are amazing. your thoughts? It's really, really amazing. I think every single woman on this show is appreciative for the opportunity that we've had to depict women in this strong, heroine-type way. I. I'm so impressed with the writing and the storylines that men have created for the women. And we've actually had this conversation on set several times. How lucky are we that we get to show a realistic depiction of women's strength? You know, women don't just sit around waiting for the man to come home and jump off their white horse and save them. That's just not true. Yes, and Cassie doesn't do that with she Cole. Does <laughs> not sit around waiting for somebody else to save the day. That is not Cassie's MO. And we've seen her reaction to Cole coming and telling her about this apocalypse happening in the future. Yeah. I mean, how do you think she's changed from that moment to now? Well, she's definitely a lot more savvy as to what's going on. That was all just information collecting. She didn't really see any of this firsthand. Now she knows. She knows how devastating the results are if she doesn't take care of business. So sending her into 2044 only strengthened her resolve that much more. And she was a pretty focused person to begin with. Yes, and we love your work on Suits. I mean, you have so many other projects. How do you get into character through all these difficult scenes in each show? I do a lot of homework, first of all, of course. But it, there's something interesting about all of the women that I've worked on when I create the backstory and I do all the work at home. But then also when I go to set, none of these women dress the same. None of these women carry themselves the same way. So there's an element of being on the set and being zipped up literally into this other skin that changes my demeanor. There was a day that I was working on both suits and 12 monkeys. And I went from suits in a Gucci beautiful dress and these beautiful Christian Louboutin heels and my hair all polished to putting a tack vest on. There was no mistaking who I was in either moment. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's really nice meeting you. Very nice meeting you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more interviews. And in the comments below, tell me if you could time travel, where would you go and why?